Welcome back to Director's Choice. That actually does look pretty good. The Teen Titans are one of the coolest squads in the DC Comics animation and movies universe. And for good reason, too. Every member of the Titans is unique in their abilities, appearance, and personality. From Robin to Beast Boy, there's something fun that pulls you into the character and gets you so invested in them that you can easily see how they'd fit into your everyday life. Robot. Oh man, I'm never letting you fly my body again! Robot. Well, in this episode of Director's Choice, we're going to help you paint that picture a little better. And we're talking about none other than the fiery queen herself, Starfire. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be the closest person in the world to the beautiful superhero? Other than Robin, her boyfriend, of course. Where would you hang out? Which of her habits would annoy you most? Would she help you out with your schoolwork or copy off you? You're about to find out. Ready to check out what being best friends with Starfire would be like? Let's get right to it. Plenty of air, now observe. Pro, you'll never be lonely. What a fascinating way to describe the whistle. Did it have the full lips as well? Starfire's name has literal rings of fire, and your first impression of her may not be the best, but the moment you break through the barrier and find the sweet girl underneath the wild hair, you'll never experience loneliness. Starfire is the type of best friend that will want to sit by you every time she can, run errands together, and have sleepovers every other day. And she is perceptive to the point that if you begin to feel like she is smothering you with attention, she can ease off a little. What are you doing in my room? We have rules, Damien. You know how people say you can be lonely and not alone? That'll never be the case with Starfire as your best friend. Her superpowers can be entertaining when she's not in battle, and you can try out tiny tricks like having her heat up some instant noodles with her blasts. Well, that's if she doesn't blast the entire bowl away. I... The point is, Starfire is that friend that is really invested in the friendship, and she won't let you feel down if there's anything she can do about it. And there's a lot that she can do. Con, you may have to babysit her emotions. As sweet and cuddly as she can be, your best friend's emotions are super flighty and the pun is intended. Due to her background, Starfire's emotions control a lot of her powers and behaviors. The tower's never been this quiet. And as her best friend, you have to make sure to help her keep them in check. If she gets too sad while watching a rom-com movie, she may not be able to transport you both from the cinema. Same goes for if her zipper breaks and she starts to feel frustrated. You don't want to be caught in the line of fire, literally. You may have to help her work through her emotions in ways that won't end up overwhelming or depressing her, because Starfire is at her best when she's happy. To see you unharmed is satisfying. Starfire? We should make with the haste to find the others. What's wrong with you? And everyone wants their best friend to be as happy as possible. So just a little heads up, you may want to invest in some emotional intelligence books or train yourself to be more in tune with her different feelings so that you can help her manage her emotions as best as you can. It sounds stressful, but the rewards are amazing. Pro, you won't fail non-English quiz. And not because she is a professor level speaker. There are so many cool features about Starfire's powers and one of them is language assimilation. Perhaps I may be of assistance. By making lip contact with the other person, though Starfire prefers to actually kiss them, Starfire can acquire their language comprehension skills. So if you're taking Spanish, Latin, French, German, or any other foreign language class, and you need to understand better for a quiz, or just find someone who can speak the language, get Starfire to kiss them. As soon as she does, she can teach you the language in a way that you will understand and get the best results on any quiz you take. But on your world it means... more. Or so I have heard. With Starfire as your best friend, you won't fail any non-English test. And she would be more than happy to help you succeed. Con, you can't win in any type of contest against her. Any. Starfire isn't necessarily competitive, but due to her natural yet unnatural powers, she has some qualities that will make you shake your head in envy multiple times during a day of hanging out with her. 
Starfire is super strong and also has durability, so if you're playing a game of catch with her, it could go on for hours on end, which would make her happy and wear you out to the point of exhaustion. Star, can you give us some light? Let's not even talk about racing, because how do you possibly want to outrun someone who can fly? So if you're walking home from school together and you feel the urge to shout, the last one is a rotten egg, just don't bother to try it because you will constantly be the rotten egg, literally every single time. Not in a blinking contest, not in a food eating contest, not in a modeling contest either, because, well, she has enough internal sustenance that if she doesn't need to eat regularly, she can still maintain her immaculate figure. It's understandable if this annoys you, but if it helps, Starfire doesn't mean to steal the spotlight. People are just drawn to her naturally. Pro, you don't need a telescope. With Starfire as your best friend, stargazing just got even better and closer. Starfire's ability to fly and travel across space easily means that you can visit the Milky Way and see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Need to distinguish between a star and a satellite? You don't need a constellation expert when you have Starfire, and she can get you close-up reports in just a few seconds. Robin, I am wondering if you might wish to... No. Thanks but I need to figure out why Slade wanted that chip. Agreed. Why bother learning about the solar system when your best friend can bring you to Mars and still make it in time for dinner? Con, you can't always rely on her powers. Firstly, Starfire is not from Earth, which means that a lot of things, customs, and behaviors are still strange to her, so you may have to take the lead whenever you're both hanging out at the mall. Also, Remember the fleeting emotions we talked about earlier? Well, chances are they may get you into more trouble than you would have ever imagined. When Starfire feels emotional or stressed, her powers glitch and she may not be able to use some of her superpowers like flying, speed, and strength. It is very messy. So if you woke up way too late for school or some other type of appointment, Starfire may not be able to help you out. It can be a huge downer from time to time, but it comes with the whole best friends package thing. Your thinking is good. Please proceed. I shall join you shortly. Phew. Pro, it is a lifetime friendship. Another striking thing to consider about being best friends with Starfire is the fact that when you become friends, you become like a family. Only the people dear to her get into that intimate circle, and it is a forever deal, because any friendship with Starfire is for the longest run, and she is super loyal to her friends. I don't want to split up. Look, will you please just stop and talk to me? Starfire will always have your back and care for you, even when she is in harm's way or when she is weak. She will always show up. Another cool thing that comes with Starfire's best friend's joint deal is the fact that you could become an honorary squad member of the Teen Titans. Thanks. Uh... Con, you may get caught up in some dangerous settings. Being best friends with a superhero that is feisty means that a lot of times you may be the collateral damage for any dangerous settings Starfire gets into. Villains may choose to use you as bait for Starfire or you could be caught in the line of fire between Starfire's beams and blasts. Whatever the case, there's a high risk that comes with being Starfire's best friend, and there's an equal amount of responsibility too. But if anything is certain, it is the fact that Starfire would appreciate everything you put into being her friend. It's simply that you'll be constantly tired, and excited, and tired again, because keeping up with a superhero can be a little draining. Never again! Never! Starfire is a phenomenal young woman and an amazing superhero because her life story is awe-inspiring. But being her best friend is a different ballgame. She can be feisty and rash because it's in her nature, but more often than not, she pushes through to become this sweet person that wants everyone around her to experience joy and comfort. I guess we know who's taking out the garbage at the new place. That was not a confidence booster. Starfire is that friend that brings balance to the friendship because she is equal parts of everything, and we think that being her best friend would be an absolute delight. What do you think? Is Starfire as we've described, 
Or do you think friendship with Starfire would be different from what this video shows? Let us know in the comment section below. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us on the breakdown of what being best friends with Starfire would be like. Take a look at this other recent clip by Director's Choice and make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to get alerts for all our latest videos.